Chapter 3, problem number 1. A tiger leaps horizontally from a 6.5 meter high rock with a speed of 3.5 meters per second. How far from the base of the rock will she land? And the question is, how far did it land in the x direction? So we'll call x equals what? How far did it jump when it jumped off a 6.5 meter mountain at 3.5 meters per second? We will call x not equals zero because that's where it started from. Y not is equal to zero. And we will also have B not Y equals zero because there's no Y part of the V. It's all X. He jumped horizontally. We'll, we'll also locate G as pointing straight down. The gravitational acceleration is straight down at 9.80 meters per second. Okay, let's look at the Y direction first, the up and down direction. Our equation of motion is y equals y naught plus v naught y t plus one half a of y t squared. Well, y naught is zero because that's where it starts from. V naught in the y direction is zero and a of y is g, our gravitational constant. So putting those numbers in here and solving for y, we see that this goes to zero we see that this one goes to zero, leaving only one half g t squared. This part of the equation is left. Then we can figure out t. If we arrange this uh, equation through algebra, you will see that t is the square root of 2y over g. Now we have, we were given the y at 6.5 meters, that's the height of the rock times two divided by the gravitational constant, 9.8, and you get a number that looks like 1.15175 seconds. And I'm gonna leave the long numbers here. I'm not rounding off yet. I'm gonna round off at the end. If we look at the x direction, we'll have x equals x naught plus v naught xt plus one half axt squared. AX is always equal to zero in horizontal flights. In projectile motion, there is no acceleration in the X direction, so it's always equal to zero. And our X naught is zero, so putting these two back up in here, you see this goes to zero, this goes to zero. Our X now is just V naught X T. V naught X was given, that's how, fa how fast the tiger jumped off the rock at 3.5 meters per second, and T we calculated from the previous time, it's 1.15175 seconds. That's how long it was in the air. If I multiply those together, I get X equal 4.03122 meter, but I know that I only want two significant figures because that's what I was given, two significant figures, so I round it off to x equals four meters. So if I go back to my original diagram, how far did the tiger jump? It jumped 4.0 meters. Now I notice that I was given two significant figures here, so my answer has two significant figures. Even though that last number is a zero, we like to have two significant figures in our answer, and the answer here is 4.0 meters.